back on the heels. Just go ahead, walk the hands out in front of you. Maybe even just come onto your fingertips for a moment. Just so the palms are off the floor, the elbows are off the floor. Nice. Uh, so and just lift the head, look forward a little bit here. Let the shoulders drop even more. You can have a slight bend in the elbows, but just keep them off the floor. And then look out in front of you, take a deep breath in. And then exhale, maybe even out through the mouth as you bring the forehead down. We'll just do this a couple of times. Inhale, lift the head and the chest. Exhale out. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Inhale, lift. Exhale out. Nice. Inhale, lift. One last one here. Reach the chest forward. Reach the hips back. And then exhale, you can drop the arms and the elbows all the way down now. Resting the forehead down. Opening up through the backs of the shoulders. Feeling the nice light stretch out through your low back, through your thighs, through the knees, through the tops of the feet, the tops of the toes, the front of the ankle. You should go ahead and just soften or just bring your awareness to where your forehead is in contact with the floor. And from that point or from that area, just encourage that part of the body or the face to soften along with the temples, either side of your forehead, the jaw, the ears. Uh, starting to cultivate a little more depth in your breath. Feeling your bellies or your belly press in towards the inner thighs as you breathe in. Feel the chest expanding out towards the floor. Feel the protraction in the shoulder blades or the lengthening in the shoulder blades at the top of the inhale. Let's take an exhale out together. Uh, smooth breath in through the nose. Hold the breath here at the top. And then nice long exhale out through the nose. Cool. So we'll inhale for three, two, one. Holding for three, two, one. Exhaling for six, five, four, three, two, one. Inhale for three. Hold. Exhale for six. Inhale for three. Hold. Exhale for six. Just invite a sense of lightness into the body, especially on those exhales. Feel the body getting lighter and lighter. Take one more round here. We're coming back to just a nice, comfortable, natural rhythm. Let's come back on the fingertips again. So lifting the palms, lifting the elbows, lift the head, look forward. You're just going to thread the left arm underneath the right and try and bring the left ear all the way down to the ground. And then go ahead and spin the right arm behind your back. Nice. The right hand might be able to reach for the inner left thigh. Otherwise, just resting the hand on your low back. Use the leverage to spin your shoulder, your right shoulder. Up. And so with your left arm as well, press the back of the left arm into the floor. Good. And you're just working on spinning the chest to the right. You might even be able to roll a little bit more onto the side of the head to be able to look up over the right shoulder. But again, try and have some activity in both arms to leverage you in the twist. I 
and keep encouraging the bees to press back or sink back. Even if they are in contact with the heel, still them pressing deeper into the heel. And then go ahead, reach the right arm out in front of you. Reach the left arm out in front of you. Come onto those fingertips again. Nice long spine just to reset. And then take the right arm under the left. Bring the right ear down. Go ahead, spin the left arm up and behind the back. Good. So same cues here. Use the leverage of the right arm on the floor and use the leverage of the left hand against the back. So ideally we're trying to stack the left shoulder on top of the right. Good. So they reach the left arm out in front of you. Reach the right arm out in front of you. Come onto those fingertips. Good. Lift the shoulders up. Good. Stay on the fingertips. Just drop the forehead down and just see how far forward you can crawl the fingertips. And just take one or two deep breaths into the backs of the shoulders here. Nice. And then lift the head. Plant the palms. Go ahead, lift the hips up. Bring the knees in slightly, take the toes out slightly just so that they're in the same line. And we'll just come onto the hands. We'll just warm up the wrists. We might play with some hand balances a little later on. So just important that we warm up through the wrists. So just circle your shoulders over your wrists. We'll be here for about a minute. Um, but as you're here, feel free to um, change or play with any different hand positioning. So you can start here normal with the hands, I guess, in like a neutral position. And then you might want to flip the hands or the fingers back towards the knees. You'll start to open up more through the forearm and the underside of the wrist. You might turn the fingers inwards to face each other. Or you might even take the tops of the hands down to open up through the back side of the wrist or the other side of your forearm. Whichever hand position you're in, just work on keeping your arms as straight as you can. Especially if you have the tops of the hands, and I know this one can be a bit intense or challenging. You can do this one hand at a time. So you can have like one arm down and the back of the other hand down, and you can kind of just adjust how much weight you press down. Good. And then put the hands back over. Go and bring the knees and the feet together and just sit back on the heel. Cool. So from here, let's go ahead, inhale, reach the arms up. You're going to interlace the fingers and just press the palms up towards the ceiling. Nice, we'll take one more twist here. So inhale, lengthen. On your exhale, we'll twist to the right. So rotate your entire torso to the right. Especially the lower part of the spine. See if you can turn your belly button to the right. Good, inhale, turn back to center. Exhale to the left. Nice, inhale, turn back to center. You're going to release the hands here, and we're just going to alternate between an open hand and clenched fist position, yeah? We're going to do this fairly quickly. So we'll go, you'll open hand and then clench fist. Open, clench, open, clench, open, clench. You're pretty much just flicking the fingers open. We're here for about half a minute. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, Feeling the activity in the forearm. Let's go for another 20. Try and keep the arms as straight as you can. 10, 9, 
eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Release the hands behind your back. Interlace your fingers. Squeeze the shoulder blades and pull the hands back. Open up through the chest. Nice. Stay here and just take a half circle or circle with the head, neck, and shoulders. So the arms pulling back can really keep our shoulders away from the ears so that we can open up more through the neck. Try and keep the arms as straight as you can. Try and keep the wrists together. Good. Take a deep breath and pull the arms back. Lift the heart and the chest. Exhale, bow forward, but lead with your heart. Let the head drop down long. Nice. Then inhale, come all back up release the hand cool from here let's drop the hips down to one side bring the legs out in front of you all right so just have the legs out in front of you just give them a bit of a shake first cool now from here we'll flex both the toes I want you to have your hands pretty much underneath your um, shoulders, maybe slightly behind, fingers tracking forward. And you're going to push the hands down, keep a nice um, upright chest, big proud chest, feet are together here. Yeah? Start to point the toes forward, press down through the hands, and then lift the hips up as high as you can. So if you find it a bit challenging, just walk the hands a little further back. Lift hips, lift the heart. So in like a reverse plank here, lift the heart, holding for three, for two, for one, slowly hips down, flex the toes towards the face now, bring the shoulders on top of the hips, inhale, reach your arms up, exhale, reach out in front of you, forward, forward, grab a hold of the feet or the floor, inhale, halfway lift, exhale, release. Inhale, arms all the way up. Exhale, hands down just behind the shoulders. We'll go reverse plank again. Plant the palms, point the toes. Inhale, lift everything up. Drop the head back. Keep lifting the heart. Press down through the heels. Point the toes forward as if you're trying to plant the feet down. Roll the shoulders back. Lift the chest for three. Squeeze the butt for two. For one, and release. Hips down. Toes come towards the face. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, forward. Grab a hold of what you can. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, deep fold. One more time. Inhale, reach the arms all the way up. Exhale, release them down here by your shoulders or behind your shoulders. Plant the hands. Point the toes, feet together. On your inhale, take off. Roll shoulders back. Breathe. Squeeze the butt. Press the heels down, press the heels of your head down. Hold for three, two, one. Good. Toes point towards the face. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach forward. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, forward. All right, from here, we'll put the hands roll up through the spine. So if you have your blocks, we're just going to use them as hurdles. So if you don't have blocks, you can have imaginary hurdles. But basically, you're just going to hold your blocks out 45 degrees from your, uh, or your arms out 45 degrees, and then just place the blocks down. Yeah, so they're somewhere to the sides of your legs. Yeah, we're using them as hurdles. So. You'll start here in this staff pose. Hands can be down, we'll call that option one. Otherwise, you can just have um, the arms up rather. So we're going to go ahead and lift your right foot up as, as much as you can. 
And you want to stay in, in an upright position. It might feel tight on that left hip flexor or on the quad there. And then you're going to try and keep the leg long and swing it out onto the right over to come into a wide leg position. Yeah? Nice. And then go ahead, make sure the toes stay flexed here. And then you're going to lift that same leg up again. Try and scoot it back over the block. Come back to center. And so the left leg will come up. Take it out to the side. Good hold. And then left leg comes up. Come back to the middle. Release. Right leg up. Out to the side. Release. Right leg up. Back to middle. Release. Left leg up. Out to the side. Release. Back up. And to the middle. All right, this time. Let's reach the arms up. Good. Go ahead and lift your right foot up. Swing it out wide. You're just going to reach the arms forwards towards the block. You're going to pulse three times. One, two, three. Bring the arms up. Lift the right foot up. Come back to the middle. Good. Lift the left foot up. Turn out to the side. And then pulse three times here. One, two, three. Arms up. Left foot up. And in, right foot up and out. Exhale, one, two, three. Arms up, left or right foot up and in, left foot up and out. Exhale, one, two, three. Reach the arms up, come back to center. Good. Lift this foot up, take it out wide, right foot. We'll hold here. So you go one, two, and then three and hold. Hands can stay on the floor. Again, make sure both toes are flexed here towards the face. Nice. Then reach the arms up. The right foot comes up. Back to center. Release. Left foot comes up. Out wide. Again, one, two, hold. Let the head drop. Let the shoulders drop. Toes and feet stay active. Good. Then reach your arms all the way up. The left foot comes back to center. And release. Nice. Bring the hands down. And then from here, bring the hands down underneath the shoulders. So we're going to go ahead and lift the right foot up. Just as high as you can here. Try and use your hands to keep your weight forwards, to keep your shoulders on top of the hips. And just as high as you can here. Hold for three, two, one. Release. Left foot comes up. Lift. Hold for three, two. Keep the chest open. One. And release. Nice work. Go ahead. Just take butterfly with the leg. Soles of the feet together. Hands around the feet. And just flutter the knees here. Good. Now from here, you're just going to make your way down onto your back for a moment. Oh, actually, before you come onto your back, let's just take boat pose. So you'll come into sitting on your tailbone, lift the knees. Knees and feet stay together. Good. Reach your arms out in front of you. So you're pretty much trying to roll to the very tip of your tailbone. Bring your chest up. Keep your knees up. Good. And then exhale, come into your low boat position. Good. So arms reach out in front of you. Good. From here, bring the right knee into the chest. Good. So the shoulders are off the ground. Both feet are off the ground. You're pulling the right knee in. And then kind of just like bicycle, change. Good. Change again. Right knee in. Left knee in. Right knee in. Left knee. Right knee in. Left knee in. Right knee in. Hold right knee in. Make two fists with your hands. Place it just on, in front of your right thigh. And so you're just applying resistance here. So you're pulling the right knee in, but you're pushing the fist into the knee. You're going to kind of let the knee win. Hold for three, two, one. Chain. Pull the left knee in. But apply a little bit of a resistance with the hand. Hold for three, two, one. Bring both knees in. 
lift, interlace the fingers behind the head, lift the chest up, try not to yank your head forwards. Try and bring the knees towards the elbows here. Hold for three, squeeze everything for two, for one. Low boat, extend the legs, last breath. And you're gonna try to come back up to boat pose. You can use your arms if you need, lift up. Nice. And release the feet. Just cross the ankles, bring your weight forward. Come into Sphinx pose. So just come to lay on the belly, just to release the core here. Forearms down. Good. Let the feet or the toe, tops of the toes rest. And just play, press a little bit of weight down through the forearms, the palms. Take the shoulders down and back. And look ahead or up. Here, lower the chest down. Bring the hands back to where the elbows just were. So pretty much for cobra. Good. And then come into cobra, lifting the chest. Float the hands here. So you're lifting through your low back. Good. And then you see how the elbows are pulling back. Continue pulling the elbows back towards the waist, but straighten the arms back. So you're coming more into locust pose. Keep lifting into the chest good and kind of like a big uh like swimming stroke or like uh butterfly stroke with your arm you're just going to reach the arms out in front of you good then inhale pull the elbows back lift the chest reach the arms back good exhale big breast stroke out in front of you good then inhale pull the elbows back lift the heart lift the chest reach the arms back good exhale swim out in front of you one more. Inhale, pull the elbows back, reach the arms back. If you like, the feet can come up too. Keep lifting. See if you can breathe into the belly, roll a little more off your spine. And release down. Nice. Plant the hands underneath your shoulders. Tuck the toes. And then see if you can press up into Chaturanga Dandasana. So you're just floating the body off the floor. Keep the elbows in. Press down, hold. And then big push to plank. Come all the way up to plank. Nice. Drop the knees. Pull the hips back. Drop the forearm. And then slide through upward facing dog. Come back downward facing dog. Good. So just pedal out the feet in your down dog. Find a bit of movement. Right. And then find a moment of stillness in your down dog, just actively pressing both heels down. Good. Then you're going to lift the heels, roll forward into a plank shape. Hold here. I want you to bring your feet together in plank. You press down through the heels of the hands and then drop your heels to the right side plank, right arm. Bring the left arm up. Rashi starts in. So take the hips as high as you can away from the floor. You can always modify by dropping the back or the bottom knee, or you can kind of Stagger your feet instead of stacking at the back of your mat. Yeah, what's more important is that the hips lift, arm lifts. You're trying to feel that long line of energy between the two arms. Good. And then bring the left hand down. Slowly lift the heels. Take the heels to the left. Reach the right arm up. Squeeze your left side body here. 
It's almost like you're trying to come into a C curve or a banana bend through the left side, but good. Right hand comes down, plank. And then you'll slowly lower the forearms down, forearm plank. The feet are still together here, yeah? Good. And then drop the hips or the heels to the right. Lift the left arm up, forearm side plank. And again, press down through the forearm. Squeeze your right side body. Good. Then left forearm down. Lift the heels. Turn them to the left. Right arm up. Good. Both forearms down. And then from here, you're going to walk your feet forward to come into dolphin. So just as best as you can. We'll hold for five, four, three, two, one. Walk the feet back, forearm plank. And then you're going to bring your right hand down, both hands down, push to plank. Nice. Drop the knees, drop the forearms, pull the hips back. Inhale, slide through, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Nice. Let's go ahead. Take the right leg up in your down dog. Exhale, bring the knee to the nose. Keep the knee as high or as close to your torso as you can. And then step the foot through. Drop down on the back knee. Good. Let's keep the back toes tough. Just inhale, reach the arms up. Good, and I want you to hook your thumbs here. Yeah, like this, you're hooking your thumb, and then you're pulling the arms back overhead. Slight back bend here. Keep tension in between the thumb. Feel opening through the shoulders. Good, stay here, engaging your back leg. See if you can slowly come up with the back knee. Bending forward, and then just separate your hands. We'll take warrior two, so you'll drop the back foot, spinning to the left, and reach the arms out away from each other. Good. So try not to forget about the back leg. Think about what it takes to lift the arch on your back foot, yeah? So really engaging the outer edge of the right foot. Right knee pretty much stacked on top of right ankle, arms reaching away from each other, looking down your front arm. Good. Now from here, reach forward to the right arm. Keep the legs pretty much locked. Inhale, reverse warrior. Open up your right side body. Good. Then come back, warrior two. This time, reach your arms straight up. Might be just out of frame here, but what you're going to do is you're going to take your, the palms together. So you're going to kind of cross the arms and bring the palms together, yeah? So from this position, you're going to kind of bend more into your front knee. Try and make sure your knee's still on top of the ankle. And then kind of like pulling your left arm will come back reverse warrior. Good. Then come back up to stretch. Take it two more times. Good. Reach back reverse warrior. Good. Come back up. Take a deep breath in. Exhale, reverse. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open the arms, warrior two. Nice. This time, normally, inhale, reverse, warrior. Exhale, just cartwheel both the hands down to the floor. Lift the back heel. Step your right leg all the way up, three-legged dog. Bend the knee, stack the hip open, either stay here or you can flip over wild thing. Good. Lift the chest, lift the heart. Slowly roll back, downward facing dog. All right. Let's take the left leg up. Good. Exhale, knee to the nose. Keep it tight. Keep the knee as high as you can, and then step through, keeping the back toes tucked, rise up with the arms. 
Yeah? Good. And then you're hooking the thumbs. So try and go for the opposite hooking if you can kind of remember or the one that kind of feels less familiar. And again, pulling the hands apart. Coming into a slight back bend here. Reaching the arms back. Good. And then engaging your back toes. See if you can lift the back knee now up off the floor. Good. Nice. Then just separate the hands or release the hands. Normal lunge. Then exhale, warrior two to your right. Good. Sink into your front knee. Find the foundation of your warrior two. Remember, lift the arch on your back foot. Pulling the arms apart. Nice. Once you're set, reach forward to the left arm. Inhale, reverse warrior. Open left side body. Exhale, warrior two. Good. Now remember this time, arms come straight up. Cross the hands. So right hand comes behind the left arm, crossing the hands. Make sure your left knee isn't collapsing in. Good. Then this time, pull with your right hand, reverse warrior. Inhale, upright. Exhale again, reverse warrior. Inhale, upright. One more time. Exhale, reverse warrior. Pull the right hand back. Good. Inhale, come up. Exhale, open the arm. Nice. Reach forward. Inhale, reverse warrior. Exhale, cartwheel the hands down to frame the left foot. Lift the back heel. Reach the left leg all the way up. Bend the knee. Stack the hip open. And if you did on the other side, flipping over. Press down through the three points of contact with the floor. And then downward facing dog. Good. Come forwards into plank. We're going to come down slow through Chaturanga Dandasana. So for a count of five, slowly come down, bend the elbows. Four. We're going to hold just off the floor. Three. Two, one, hold for five, four, three, two, one, slow push to plank, five, four, three, two, one, nice work, drop the knee, drop the forearms, pull the hips back, slide through, inhale, upward facing dog, exhale, down facing dog. Nice. All right, from here, let's drop the knees down for a second. Sit back on the heels. Knees and feet together. Catch the hands, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, pull the arms back. Chase the floor with the hands. Nice, and then release. So let's bring the legs out in front again. So grab your blocks as well. So you're gonna take the blocks pretty much just beside the hips, somewhere in between your knees and your hips, but a little closer to your hips, yeah? So I want you to place the hands down on your block. Just right, you can wrap the fingers around the side. The uh, index fingers are kind of almost parallel, if anything, slightly pointing away from each other, yeah? Press down through the hand, lift the hips as high as you can. Good, try and keep the feet together, roll the shoulders back, and then try and lift your right foot up. Good, lower the right foot down. Lift your left foot up. Good, lower down. Stay here, try and slide your hips back. Press down even more. Lift your right foot up again. Lower down. Lift the left foot up again. Lower down, release the hips down. Nice. Take the hands back behind the shoulders, just off your blocks now. Feet together, point the toes forward. 
inhale. Uh, actually, let's bend the knees. So bend the knees, bring the feet to the ground. So it's kind of more like bridge or reverse tabletop. And then inhale, lift the hips up, drop the head back, squeeze the butt, lift the thighs up. Down, extend the legs. Good. Inhale, reach the hands up. Exhale, reach for the feet. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fold. All right, slowly roll that back. We're gonna have a go with this one more time. It is a little challenging. So we're working towards like almost like an L sit. So I'll show you a quick demo first. So what I mentioned about the positioning of the blocks, the blocks are gonna be, again, closer to the hips, but probably just in front of the hips. So what you'll do is you'll plan down pretty much what we just did. You'll lift the hips, you'll slide the hips back as far as you can. You'll lean the weight back, press down through the hands, and we'll lift one foot, you know, and maybe eventually one day we'll be able to lift both feet. Yeah, let's come down. So let's give it a shot. So plant the hands down on the block. Good. Push down with the hands, come as straight as you can with the arms, lifting the hips. Slide the hips back. Let's lift the right foot up. Good. Lower the right foot down. Lift the left foot up. Squeeze the belly. Lower the right foot down. One more time. Right foot up. Lower down. Left foot up. Good. Lower down. Drop the hips. Take the hands back behind. Bend the knee. Plant the feet and the hands down. Inhale. Lift everything up. Drop the head. Squeeze the butt to lift it as high as you can. And then low. Nice work. Extend the legs. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, reach out in front. Inhale, half lift. Exhale, fall. Nice. All right, from here, let's just cross the ankles. Bring the hands forward. Just roll forward. All right, so let's come back uh, to a down dog. Extend the legs. Good, take your right leg up. Exhale, right knee to your right elbow. Try and take it as high up that arm as you can. Good, just lower it down towards the wrist. Think of your knees like an elevator and then inhale, lift, 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 lift. Good, bring the knee to the nose, to the midline and then step the foot through. Good. From here, I want you to take warrior one with the back leg and then bend into the front knee and then rise all the way up warrior one. Good, so make sure your back heel's planted. Try and make sure your chest is still spinning to the middle, reaching the arms. Nice. Release the hands behind the back, interlace the fingers, squeeze the shoulder blades, pull the arms back. And then again, leading with your heart, exhale, bow forward, tumble, warrior. Inhale, come back up, open the chest. Exhale again, humble, warrior. Inhale, up. Exhale. Hold. Keep, continue the arm. And then stay here, and then just straighten your front leg as best you can. Nice. Release the hands down to the ground. Um, lift your back heel so you're more in a runner's lunge now. The back heel is lifted. Bend into your front knee. 
reach the arms up. Good. So just a little balance with the legs here. So the front leg is bent. Obviously, the back leg is straight. What you're going to try and do is dip or bend your back knee towards the ground as you straighten your front leg. And lifting the right toe. And then bend into your front knee. Straighten the back leg. Good. Do it again. So bend the back knee. Pull the hips back. Flex the right toe. Just as best you can. Then come forwards. Bend into the front knee. Straighten the back leg. Do it one more time. Reach back. Dip the left knee down. Lift the right toes. Reach the arms up. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Bend forward, lunge, hold for five, four. Squeeze the left thigh, lift the back knee, two, one. Release the hands down. Nice. Step the left foot all the way, or the right foot rather, all the way up in the air. Bend the knee, stack the hip open, and maybe flip over wild thing. This time in your wild thing, I want you to drop the hips all the way down. Keep your left hand where it is. Hips come down to the ground. Yeah. Good. And then bend your left knee. Bring the, le the left foot pretty much to be in line with the right. Yeah. So from here to here. And then lift your right arm up. And then lift the hips all the way up. Reach the right arm overhead. Nice. Keep reaching the hips up high. Press down through the left hand. Good. Squeeze the butt. Lift the hips. Now, you can either just extend the left leg from here, or you can bring the hips back down. Extend the left leg. Come back up into your wild thing. And then back over into down dog. Nice work. So, take the left leg up. Let's go knee to the left elbow. As high up the arm as you can. Good. Then slide it down the arm towards the left wrist. And then all the way back up again. Good. Knee to the nose to your midline. And then step the foot through. Good. Set up for warrior one. And then find your warrior one. Rotating the right hip to the forward. Good, bend into your front knee, big proud chest, release the arms back behind your back. Try and go for the opposite interlace of the fingers. Squeeze the shoulders, open up through the chest. Exhale, bow forward. Use your inhale to lift you back up. Exhale, bow forwards again. Once more, inhale, lift, 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 lift. And then exhale, bow forward, hang out here. Again, try and keep the arms straight, try and keep the wrists together. And then staying here, straighten your leg, your front leg. Coming into like your pyramid legs, keep pulling the hands over. Let the head and the neck be nice and free here. Good, then release the hands down to the ground. Set up your runner's lunge. So take the right heel up. Bend into your front knees, rise up into your underneath arms and crescent lunge. Good, so we're bending into the front knee. And then we're bending into the back knee, straightening the front leg. Maybe you can lift the toe. Just play with the balance. And then change, bend front knee, straighten back leg. Bend back knee, straighten front leg. Good. Bend front knee. Nice. Last change. Come back. Bend the back knee. Flex the toes. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Change. Bend into the front knee. Squeeze the back thigh to keep the back leg straight for four, three, two, one. Hands come all the way down. Left leg comes all the way up. Bend the left knee. Stack the hip open. Wild thing. Good. 
Now you might just be able to step the right foot in from here. Otherwise, lower the hips all the way down into your wild thing. Bend the right knee, bring the right foot in, and then lift back up again. Good. Then find your wild thing again, extending the right leg. You can drop the hips or not. And then down facing back. <laughs> nice. Drop the knees. Sit back on the heels. Interlace the fingers behind the back. Inhale, squeeze the shoulder blades. Open up through the chest. Cool. So we'll have a go at, um, at Bakasana next, crow pose. So before we do that, just interlace your fingers in front of you and then just roll your wrists, kind of like doing like figure eights or just kind of like circles with your wrists. Yeah. And see if you can reverse the direction. Nice work. Just lean forwards, plant like we did at the start. Take the fingers back to the knees in a tabletop position, and then just kind of pulse your hips back and forward. Cool. So flip the fingers to face the front. So to set up for your crow, or we might even do crow with the blocks. I'll, I'll make this optional. So you can take your hand onto the blocks, just pretty much elevating your hand, right? Again, you'll just wrap the fingers around the edge of the block. And then let's pretty much just come into straighten the legs, come into a forward fold, but just have your feet slightly back. Yeah, I'll demo first. So what you'll do is you can, feet can be together or slightly apart. That's cool. But you'll bend your knees, start to bend your knees, take the knees towards the armpits or pretty much as high up the arm as you can. Yeah. Once you find contact with knee and um, armpit or tricep, elbow, you'll start to lean the weight forward. Maybe you just lift one foot. Maybe the other one comes up to join. Yeah. Let's give it a go. Nice tin. Try and keep your good Alton, keep your head up. Nice, Chris. Good. And again, press down through the heels of the hand. You're pretty much just making a little shelf there for the knee. All right, let's try one more different uh, way of doing this. So this time we're going to stand on the block. Yeah. So take your time to rinse it out, but I'll demo first again. But if you, if you're finding it challenging to bring the knees high up the arm, standing on the block might help. So you can just use one block pretty much. And then you'll bring the hands down. You'll take the knees again, as high as you can. Now that the feet are elevated. So you might find a little more height. And then again, find the contact, lift one foot, lift the other. Yeah, let's give that a shot. Again, you can use one block for the two feet or one for each. Doesn't really matter as long as we're just looking to elevate the um, feet. Good. Good. Try and keep the head up as well. Try just one foot. If you're challenged, if you if you're finding it hard or you feel like you're gonna kind of like face plan or something, 
just get a feel for one foot lifted. You're pretty much trying to lift the heel towards the butt. How'd you go? Yeah. All right, let's come back. We'll sit back on the heels. Catch the hands again behind your back. Squeeze the shoulder blades, open up. Good, keep the arms as straight as you can. Nice, release. Bring the hands in front of you again, the same kind of Wrist release, rolling those circles. And again, change in direction. All right, so next one, we'll have a go, final one here. We'll have a go at um, Lolasana. So it's a, again, another hand balancing one, but this time from your hero's pose or from your seated position in your heels, on your heels, take the blocks just behind your knee line, right? Now I'll, I'll demo again first. So what the final variation of the pose looks like, similar again to Bakasana, but you, the knees are floating here. So you'll press down, you'll try and draw the knees as high as you can into the chest. And then you might just lift one foot here to float off the floor or maybe both, yeah? But what we'll do, we'll do a quick warm up for it. So, as in to get used to one leg at a time. So, place the hands down on your block. Again, your knees and your feet are together. Yeah, the blocks are just behind your knee line. Right, have the blocks pretty close, pretty much just touching the side of the leg. Press down, lean your weight forward, press the tops of the feet down, push through the arms, lift the knees as high as you can. Good. Now lean the weight forward and bring your right heel to your butt. Hold for five, four, three, two, one. Right foot down, left foot up. Five, four, three, two, one. Release everything down. Good, catch the hands behind the back. Squeeze the shoulder blade, open up through the chest. Nice, interlace the fingers in front of you, just roll the wrists, and we'll have a go one more time. Yeah, so like I was saying, the similarity between this and Barkasana in the sense of that you're bringing the heel to your butt. So in your crow pose, you're leaning your weight forward and you're working on bringing your heels towards your butt. But in your Lolasana, your knees are kind of in front of you, but you're still working on lifting the heels up as well. Yeah? So quick mental preparation this is the last piece of work. Think big push through the arms. Take your time, I'm watching. <laughs> um, yeah, you can use blocks or not. I suggest just using the blocks just because of the extra height that you get. Take your time. So press down, lift the knees to the chest first. Keep the feet down, lift the knees to the chest, good. Suck the belly in and then try and bring one heel to your butt. So one foot off the floor. Good. Nice, Chris. And let's all release. Really well done, guys. And go. All right, from here, let's just come forward onto our belly. So you're going to make like a cactus arm. So you, I'll face this way. You'll bend both the elbows about 45 degrees. Yeah. Bring the right ear to the floor. Bend your left knee and roll over onto your right side. 
So we're more concerned about the right arm here. You can actually bring your left hand in just beside your chest and you can use your left hand as leverage just to maybe push and roll over. Slowly roll back to center. Good, and change. Left ear down, bend your right knee, bring your right hand by your chest and roll over onto your left side. Good, roll back over onto your belly. This time, just straighten both your arms wide like a T. Right ear to the floor. Bend your left knee, bring your left hand in, and then roll over onto your right side. A deep stretch into the chest here. If you want any further variations or options, you can take the right, left arm behind the back. You might even be able to reach the left hand all the way back to the right. To bind, or you might even bring bend the right knee and bring the sole of the right foot down. Yeah, just some options. As always, listen to your body first before you listen to me. Good, then release. Roll back over onto your belly. Keep the left arm out wide. Bring the right hand in, left ear down, bend your right knee, roll over onto the left. Breathing into the twist. And then roll back over on your belly. From here, bend both knees. We'll finish with Dhanurasana bow pose. You'll see if you can reach the hands back for the ankles. Good. Start to kick the feet into the hands, which will already start to lift you up. And then keep kicking, keep kicking, keep kicking. Lift up, roll the shoulders back. Breathe into your belly. Hands down, lift your hips up and back, drop them to one side, bring your legs out in front of you, lay down on your back. Bring the knees into your chest. Hug the knees in. Lift your head up towards the knees, big squeeze. And exhale, drop everything back down. Head comes down. Feet come to the corners of your mat. Arms by your sides, palms rolling up. Complete surrender to the pose.
Spain or back to back. Eventually, you'll just bring the feet to the floor, roll over to any one side. Take all the time you need. Whenever you're ready to re-enter your evening, just go ahead and pick yourselves up. Come to a nice seated position. Keeping the eyes closed, we'll bring the palms together, center of the chest. And as always, bringing forward with you that grounded state, that rested state. Maybe noticing the calmness in the mental activity. Maybe noticing the ease or the depth of your breath. Brief moment. Or just inviting a sense of gratitude in. And a sense of accomplishment. Yeah, what the challenge is. Let's take one last breath in together, filling up the chest. And big sigh, exhale as please. Go ahead, rub the hands together. Feeling your effort some more. Take the hands to the face. You can just lightly rub and massage the face. Return the palms back together again, blinking the eyes open. And stay.